So one US dollar is 2.5 gel and 20 US dollar is 50 gel. In today's video, we're gonna see how far 20 US dollars can take us here in the country of Georgia. So to start off the day, we're gonna go to my local bakery here and try the national dish of Georgia. All right, so khashapuri is a national dish of Georgia and you see this in all over the city in different parts of Georgia from bakeries to supermarkets. Khashapuri is basically a cheese filled bread and what's interesting is that khashapuri is different depending on what region of Georgia you're at. So the shape could look different, the herbs used could be different, some of them have eggs. I don't know if you can see it here but right inside there is nice and cheesy. Kachapuri is basically um, a favorite here for both breakfast and lunch and I've even seen it for dinner. So no matter what time in the day, always a good time for khachapuri. So this pretty big khachapuri came out to 3.5 gel, which is around a dollar 40 cents. So as we go to the local restaurants here in Georgia, we often seen them bring khachapuri and it's often kind of like a, a supplement to the dish. So you have your meat dish, you have your khachapuri. And to me, it seems like Georgians like the khachapuri and breads a lot more than rice. We don't see rice as common as we see breads here. So next, we're gonna get a taxi and head over to the old part of the Tbilisi, which is kind of the main attraction of the city here. And the taxi ride over there is about 4.5 gel. And that's for roughly a 10 to 15 minute taxi ride. Here in Georgia, there are really two main taxi apps that you could use. One of them is Yandex Go and the other one is Bolt. So for me, I'm using Yandex Go, it's, which is what we also use over in Kazakhstan. So it's kind of the app that works in different countries in this region. I pay anywhere from one to two dollars to go for most parts of the city here, which is amazing because back in my hometown in the US, this ride could easily be about 15 US dollars and here it's just around one to two dollars. So amazing deal, very easy to get around. All right, so after a 10 minute ride, we have arrived to Reich Park, which is probably one of my favorite parts of Tbilisi. I see this pretty cool looking thing. It's like a train. Uh, let's see if we could maybe get some wine here as well. Got yeah, coffee, tea juice, what's the wine? Okay, so I'll try your, how do you say, a sapervavi? Great. All right, so now for a glass of Georgian wine here in Old Tbilisi. Mm. The wine here is so incredible. Now, Georgia is the oldest producing wine region in the world. And they've been making wine here for at least 8,000 years. And they take great pride of that as well. And anywhere that you want, you can always find a wine here in Georgia. For this one, I paid 15 gel. And I do think that I paid a very high tourist price for it. This is a very touristy part. So I, I do feel like I definitely paid at least twice what I would probably pay if I went to a local one. But great wine, 15 gel, and we're gonna continue our 20 US dollar adventure here in Tbilisi, Georgia. Sun shining down on me, oh, what a brand new day. Nothing can bring me down, nothing can And it's cool because this is like in a very busy area, and when you're in the park, the way they make it is that you kind of get away from all the hustle and bustle of the city. You hear the sound of the birds, and it's really nice and peaceful here. So now we are at Narikala Fortress, which is an ancient fortress here in Tbilisi. And uh, this fortress here, historically, was to protect the city during the wars and from invaders. Where are you from? California. Georgia. Hotel California. Ah, America. Okay. There we go. To 
come here, you don't really need to get the cable car pass. You could actually hike up here or go with the cable car and come down walking. But I got the round trip ticket for 7 gel. Uh, really amazing views of Tbilisi here. All right, so next up, I am at the flea market by the dry bridge. And here is kind of like a local artsy little market that is here every day. So we have the vendors that are here selling different kinds of stuff from hats to shoes. The bridge is actually right over there. And here is the park that is nearby the bridge. And you can see the whole park is also uh, this flea market here. One thing I must say after being in Georgia for almost a month and a half is that Georgians are extremely friendly and hospitable. They're some of the nicest people that I've ever seen. Oh, we got like a lot of antique stuff too. We got some old photos, some old statues, knives. Pretty interesting uh, flea market here with all kinds of artsy and old vintage stuff and uh, if you're into that it's a pretty cool place to come and uh, grab some stuff but I didn't see anything that I wanted to buy so we're gonna continue on our adventure here to spend 20 US dollars here in Tbilisi. Now what I'm looking for is something called Lagdi's water which is another Georgian drink that is here and I'm gonna tell you more about it as I find the place. Now it's sold throughout the city in different spots but this particular place that I found is actually called like these water or it specializes in like this water so we're gonna go find that it's about a five minute walk from here So I'm gonna be trying two of the like these water here. I got two different flavors. Each of them was three gel. So even though Georgia is considered the birthplace of wine, it is also the birthplace of like these, which is the most popular soft drink that is here. This was invented in 1887 by a pharmacist from Kutaisi City, and it was a healthier alternative to a sugary drink. So it comes in different flavors. As I mentioned, uh, this one, I believe is uh, the cream one, I think, and one of them is uh, lemonade. So let's try it out for the first time. It, it's kind of like a soft drink, basically. It would kind of think about like a Sprite, but it's more natural and it's, it's a healthier option. Let's try the next one. Now this one kind of gives me a taste of like a, like a little bit of vanilla water, kind of like that. Interesting. Yeah, this is definitely like a soft drink that you could have. I mean, I would enjoy having this with the food. For sure. All right, so now we are left with 14 gel, which is roughly around five dollars and sixty cents. How much is your uh, pomegranate juice? This is Georgian pomegranate. Mm -hmm. It's a small size. But it's more sweet and red. Nice. I hope you will like it. Thank you very much. Madlova. Okay, have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. All right, so we got some of that Georgian pomegranate juice. Hmm. Very nice. Very delicious. If you guys have been following the journey from Kazakhstan to Tajikistan, you know how much I love our pomegranate juice in this region. And really, the, the Georgian pomegranate juice, really good. Really delicious. So this was 10 gel, which means we have four more gels left. So a little bit under $2 remaining. So I have an idea. We're gonna have one more thing that I think will be just enough for it. All right, so now we are headed to the underground bazaar or the maiden bazaar, and I'm looking for some churcha yeah. challah. So, okay, so the ones that look different to me, what is this one? Red one is made from the pomegranate juice, and uh -huh. uh, the ones like these kind of colors are made from the grapes. I'm doing a video of uh, how much can you do with 50 gel, oh. and I have exactly four left. So four perfect. Left, so. <laughs> 
I don't think so. Perfect you can't for do. my video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So exactly for gel, we were able to get some chuch khala. And uh, let's go up here and uh, try it out. And I'm going to tell you more about it. All right. So we're going to try the famous chuch khala, which are like a candle shape snack that is really famous here and this is goes back to the old ancient times now inside of it is different kinds of nuts like almonds hazelnuts and then outside is different kinds of, of fruit kind of um, wrapping i would i would say so basically what they would do is that they put the string and they put the nuts together and then they would be dipped in some kind of a juice so this one for example is pomegranate juice and this is also quite popular as you go around uh, Tbilisi or anywhere in Georgia you see vendors selling this uh, church challah snack so let's go ahead and try it it's definitely also a great snack there's been times that I was kind of hungry and I would eat this and for a couple hours I was good definitely very it fills you up all right so for 20 US dollars we were able to get some khachapuri taxi to the old town a glass of wine cable car to go to the fortress, two cups of lactis water, pomegranate juice, and shushkhorla. So that's how far 20 US dollars takes you here in Georgia. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video, this $20 experiment here in Georgia. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And we cannot wait to see you in the next video. Cheers.